Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Um, I'm here today to react to some uh, trailers. Uh, or trailer, excuse um, It's the Wolves trailer. It just got released by IGN. Um, it's gonna have Brad Pitt and George Clooney in it. And yeah, this, you know, some legends of the, the field. Uh, coming together here i don't think i've ever seen them besides maybe oceans eight i might be missing some other movies that they played uh that played they played together but yeah this seems like a once in a blue moon collab and you wouldn't want to miss it hopefully they don't have a bad script because that would suck you know you you want to have not only the good actors but also have the um the good script so that like when we're watching it doesn't seem so bland but yeah uh, enough of me blabbering so i'm gonna go and start the trailer oh, is it my sound up yeah Ooh. how did you get this number i was told that if i ever needed help to call you you're a man who can fix things didn't know people like you really existed. They don't. That lady looks no, familiar. Do. So there's two that do the same type of job, which is dispose of um, dead bodies that shouldn't exist or will lead to somebody getting in trouble. <laughs> Do they know each other? I'm here to take care of your problem. Who called you? We clearly have a situation here. We have decided that the only course of action is for you both to work together. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not how I work. This is not how I work. The huh? When the sweet life back and forth? Okay. Shit. <laughs> oh shit! What is this? Drugs? Different thing now. It's gonna be a long night. Oh no! Where'd you get the drugs? I don't know what you're talking about. Where did you get the drugs? Talk. There's an art to this. You may not realize. But they're just saying the same thing over and over. Let's see your technique. I showed you my luggage card trick. Admit it. That's his trick, bro. That. Sweet Life of Zack and Cody trick is not the way to do it, man. This looks like a very easy way to get caught. Yeah, it's cool. Like, who wraps it up like that? That's so, so suspicious. Okay, fine. It's very cool. Where'd you get the truck? He's gonna beat him with the freaking lamp. <laughs> How long have you been partners? You got like the same clothes. Kind of talk the same. So, like basically the same guy. They're in the Asian district. <laughs> there are people out there who, if they suspected, I knew what he knew. I knew what he knew. They would have us all killed immediately. Oh my god. What? They got the Uzis. <laughs> oh shit. Not the slow mo. Oh, sh bro's flying. He's dead. No. It only happens in movies, man. So you secret partners. Wait. Not if you guys saw, I don't know if you ever played Wolfenstein, but I feel like that's how they wrap the word Wolfenstein. With the N going in all the way to the W like that. I could be wrong, you know, I could be mistaken, but it looked very similar to that. And I like the touch of adding Frank Sinatra when the scene gets more intense and like things are actually going on and not, you know, keeping it just the dialogue, which makes it kind of, you know, it's good when it's like building up on something and then when it's actually time for things to occur. You gotta add that right type of music, and I like that Frank Sinatra for the type of scenes that were shown after, like them fighting, getting out of, you know, getting out information from this kid, I'm assuming, getting into the Chinese district and 
breaking everything in sight <laughs> shooting up the place with AKs and not AKs M4s and Uzis against like the Serbian Mafia <laughs> is that like <laughs> the right here this guy <gasps> <Right here. laughs> like the Serbian Mafia like who is this the off-brand Hitman 47 like it's <laughs> well <laughs> I mean, not like that, but there's like two, they're, they're like part of the mob or What's something. That? That's pretty crazy. But, yeah, I'm running naked. I don't understand some of these scenes. It's just funny. Um, yeah, I mean, this seems like one of those fun movies. So I'm probably going to take it with a more of a grain of salt if I were to watch it. But I will probably watch it because it's Brad Pitt and George Clooney. It's just how it goes. You know, when great actors especially act together in a collab, you just got to watch it. You never know. It might just be a just a fun watch it doesn't have to be like the best script or you know the best written movie for you to enjoy so i think that's what the type of movie is going to be let me know maybe i'm missing something that was showcased here in the trailer but yeah i'm out of here